Armstrong Powerhouse released two enhancement packs for the Class 158 DMU in Train Simulator, one featuring a Cummins engine, the other featuring a Perkins engine. Note that both of these packs require the Dovetail Games Network Southeast Class 159 DLC in order to function, as AP used this model as a base for these enhancements. The Class 158 Express Sprinter was built between 1989 and 1992 at British Rail Engineering in Derby. A total of 182 units were built, 22 of which were actually converted to Class 159 in order to replace life expired Class 50 locomotives on services between Exeter and London Waterloo. The majority of a family are two car sets, however three car variants also exist. Unlike previous members of the Sprinter family, the Class 158s feature air conditioning, power operated interior doors and a toilet in each carriage. When new they also boasted an onboard payphone. Since the advent of a mobile phone however, the payphones were removed. Whilst the trains boast a top speed of 90 miles an hour, the Express Sprinter hasn't been without its problems. In the autumn, leaf mulch used to build up on their wheel rims due to the disc brakes. This prevented the trains from correctly operating signalling track circuits. The class has also suffered from unreliable air conditioning systems since the outlawing of CFC gases with which they were originally designed to work. Following privatisation, many operators undertook to re-engineer or entirely replace such equipment. As a result, the systems in use and their effectiveness now vary across the fleet. Today, the Class 158 and 159 can be seen operating across many parts of the country. Their lightweight nature enables them to operate across a large number of routes, too numerous to detail here. Having travelled aboard the Class, I find them to be fast, comfortable and efficient. After nearly 30 years of service, they still seem to have plenty of life left inside. Briefly looking at the Dovetail Games NSC Class 159, the base model actually looks quite nice and shows some good details. Inside the cab and passenger view are the same as the previous releases of the Class 158. The running sounds have been recycled from the rail simulator Class 166 DMU. They are relatively the same, however, the internal cab sounds are now quieter, and the engine revs down when changing gear. In terms of driving, the train seems ok to handle, and it should get you to your destination with relative ease. As for functionality, it's pretty much a standard affair, with functional automatic warning system, driver reminder appliance, driver safety device, sander, guard buzzer, horn, wipers and lighting. Now let's take a look at what the enhancement brings. Firstly, you will immediately notice the improved livery textures. They are much more appealing and I find the weathering to be a little bit more higher quality than the default model. Speaking of liveries, 10 are included with the Perkins pack, whilst an astounding 23 are included with the Cummins pack. Note that in some cases the packs do share the same liveries, though there are a handful of exclusive liveries between the packs. Internally, you'll notice that the cab is a very different story. The cab itself is entirely new, and there's additional functionality, more of which in a moment. The passenger view remains unchanged, with the exception that it now has its own separate running sounds. Going back to the cab, the train's startup procedure has been improved. The packs feature a cold and dark state. This means that when you enter the cab, the engine is off and pressure gauges are at zero. Starting the train requires you to turn the master key, put the train into gear and acknowledge the AWS. Once this is done, you will need to activate the compressor speed up function and wait until you have sufficient air pressure in order to release the brakes. Whilst waiting for your air pressure to be replenished, you can set the train's electronic destination display 
by entering codes using the in-cab computer. You can also cycle through the destinations with F7 and F8 should you not be able to remember the codes. You can additionally set up the GSMR on equipped units. Simply click the registration button, enter the train's head code and your starting signal. Confirm this by clicking the tick icon. Like the default set, the DSD can be toggled on and off with Ctrl and D. The alarm is acknowledged with E. The sounds for Perkins pack were taken from a class 158 based with Arriva Trains Wales, and in turn, AP also translated these sounds to Arriva's in-house driver training simulator, as was the case with the class 175 DMU. Sounds for the Cummins pack were sourced from a northern unit based at Nebel Hill Depot. If I had to choose my favourite between the two, I would probably pick the Perkins engine. That's not to say that the Cummins engine sounds awful, both engines sound equally as good, and Richard has done an excellent job in translating them into the simulator. When in the cab, the train is nice and quiet. Should you want to hear the roar of the engine from the cab, Simply open the cab windows and you'll be able to hear them loud and clear. In addition to the wind rushing past, this greatly improves the sense of movement. Externally, the train sounds rather beastly. When viewing the train from the trackside camera, the way the sounds fade from one side to the other give you a real sense of the distance from where the train is in relation to the camera. The cherry on top of these improvements is how the train drives. Now don't get me wrong, Dovetail's Arriva DMU Pack Class 158 and the NSC Class 159 seem to handle much better than previous versions of the 158. However, with the aid of additional scripting and a bit of trickery within the simulator, this enhancement pack makes the Express Sprinter more of a dream to handle. I find the acceleration and braking to be much more accurate and it helps me to perform some smoother stops at stations. In addition to the altered handling, this train features wheel slip and wheel slide, so it's up to you to change your driving style and adapt accordingly. Both packs also employ dynamic smoke effects. These effects are randomised, so if you load the train up in one instance, it may be as clean as a whistle. Load it up in another instance, and it could be smoking like no tomorrow. Added to features like this, bring much more charm and character to the unit. Three scenarios per engine pack come bundled and are based around real-time tabled services. The Perkins Pack features scenarios for the South Wales Coastal Bristol to Swansea route. The Cummins Pack features scenarios for the Liverpool to Manchester by Warrington route. In these reviews, I normally talk about the pricing at the start of a video, but because of the complexity here, I've decided to save it until the end. At the time of writing, the base price for the Dovetail NSC Class 159 is $11.99. The base price for the Cummins Pack is $16.99. The Perkins Pack is $12.99. Note that in these screen captures, AP do offer discounts if you already own one of either pack. As always, pricing and such offers are subject to change. I won't lie but I do find the base price of the Cummins pack to be a bit on the steep side. At the end of the day, however, I know that when I buy something from AP, I will get a product that has better sound design and a better driving experience. These prices cover the cost of AP going out to record these sounds and the work that goes into making the packs themselves. 
Not to mention that the train companies may also charge AP for the use of their facilities and that can be very expensive. It's your decision if you want to pay full price but it is worth noting that AP do hold regular sales throughout the year. So which pack do I recommend? Well I would wholeheartedly recommend both but your taste may vary. No matter which pack you choose the sounds and driving experience is leaps and bounds better than the default setup. Thanks for watching this review. Please feel free to rate and comment down below. If you would like to keep up to date on the videos that I post, why not subscribe and ring YouTube's notification bell so you don't miss an update. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and take care.